Yo, yo, I'm Mixed Muzz and my man, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace um, the, the gearing on your cylinder mower, in particular, your Annet Cambridge 17-inch um, cylinder mower, which is a battery-powered one, powered by uh, Greenworks. These gears are pretty much sacrificial, which means they are designed to, to, to fail uh, should your uh, cylinder become jammed. And what it does, it, it actually break the gear, which is cheap to repair, and replace rather than actually damaging your mower, that's the idea. So they are, they are sacrificial gear. Um, but they are hidden away and you need to find them and you'll, you'll know that your gear is broken because you may have lost your cylinder or your cylinder is particularly noisy and um, not the actual where the blade is hitting a bed knife but there's a, there's a grinding noise going on and the machine may vibrate. So in particular we're going to be looking at how to change the two intermediate gears and also the white gear on this machine and uh, we'll have this video done in a, around four, five, six minutes. So it doesn't take long to do. But before you work on any machine, whether it be battery powered or petrol, remove the grass box. And on this machine, the Cambridge, you lift the, lift the door up and inside here, there's a little tiny red key. Remove that and put that in your pocket, okay? With that in your pocket, you can then remove the battery. With the battery removed, put that in your grass bag, close the door and the machine is now safe. The machine now will, will no longer work. For this job, you need to remove the side cover, side inspection cover on your cylinder mower, which will be done using the um, the five mil Allen key that will be provided with your Allen mower. Okay. Now there's four to do, and I believe in not editing the video. I believe in showing a real time on how long this procedure will take you, because if it's how long it will take me. So just take your time, and at any point, if you get if you get confused then just use your smartphone or reference this video and just take photographs and pictures so you know where back you are. Just in case you lose any bits, you can always ring Alec up and say, Alec, I had a circlet on my drive gear and it went ping across the lawn and I can't find it. Um, then you'll be able to, they'll be able to locate that part for you in their parts list and send you one out. So, we're now gonna remove the four retaining bolts which hold on the side inspection panel. Now they are captive, so once they, once they come off, even if you tip it upside down, they won't come out, okay? But put that over that way up and put that down to one side. Now we have the side inspection panel um, located. What I'd recommend doing is just, just slipping your cylinder belt off, okay? Because we, we want to remove this pulley. To remove your cylinder belt, just pull this tensioner forward towards the front of the mower, take it out of the tensioner, and then just, just rotate this one backwards clockwise. And then that just slip your, your, your cylinder um, belt off of that pulley. So couldn't be simpler than that. We'll move on to the next stage. Right, so we're now down to the meat and veg of inside the inspection, the inspection panel. This one here is your cylinder pulley. This one here is your drive pulley. On your cylinder pulley, there will be a 10 mil um, bolt. All we have to do is just loosen that one off just by hand, okay? Now there will be associated washers with these. It comes off in that order you'll have um, a big washer, penny washer, a smaller washer, and then you'll also have a split washer. Okay, so make sure they're in the right, right order when they go back on. So just put them all back on together where they were, and then just put them down inside a little tiny tub and keep them safe. Now that bolt's been removed, we can now just loosely remove this pulley here, which is your cylinder pulley, and on the back side will be one of the gears. Okay, now to remove this gear, very simple, all you have to do is just get a flat-headed driver and just creep this up ever so slightly and that gear, will, that gear will actually remove, okay? Especially if it's broken, you'll see it. And inside there will be three, um, three pins and that pulley will just literally just lift up and come away. Once you've ordered your new one, just drift in the new pins back into here and then just gently tap with a rubber mallet, tap these gears back onto there, no problem, easy peasy, okay? This intermediate gear here is a little bit different now, one reason you might have actually lost your lost your your cylinder, which not a lot of people know about, is all the way down here. There's another little bolt. Okay. Now, as you can see from from this gearing, these two gears need to mesh together. And as you can see, that they they are just slightly meshing. But actually, that that could do. See how see how much slack there is there. That could do just a little bit of fine adjustment. So we're going to adjust that now before we remove the gear. Okay. Right, so to adjust your, your meshing, so to speak, okay, um, if you lose your cylinder, maybe your gears are good, 
Um, these gears are moving, but in fact, the, the, this white cylinder gear is not, and it's not moving because these two gears are not close enough together. Now, you don't want them binding, but you just want good contact, okay? And all we have to do is loosen off this little tiny 13 mil bolt here, just slacken him off, and then you'll see that this plate is fully adjustable. Okay, now as you can see here, the gear is not, not in contact. So just bring the gearing down, that's too close, okay? Just, just back it off a touch to where you're happy. And I would say we wanna be around about three quarters. Okay, so just back that bolt off a touch, back it off, I wanna be about there, about three quarters. And once you have it set at three quarters, you can then just nick that bolt up. Nice and snug, not too tight. And then you'll see that actually that will spin much better and, the, and there's not much slack in there now, okay? Much better. So that's where it needs to be, okay? With that, that said in mind, if you find that this green gear is actually broken, it's missing teeth or the bushing inside is gone, all you then need to do is get a flat-headed screwdriver. Now this bit's tricky. You wanna get flat-headed driver and just put it behind this C-clip, but you need to put your thumb on the C-clip. If you don't put your thumb on the signal, it will jump up and it will shoot across the garden or shed. Once you've got it out, remove that and then just retract this little tiny green gear here. There's a little tiny fresh washer behind it. Uh, these bushings can wear out, um, but these teeth, as I say, on these gears, these are sacrificial and these gears are the same, exactly the same. So you come, they come as a pair, okay, they, there's no difference. And these, that's where the holes are for the other one for the pins to go in. So exactly the same. To replace it couldn't be easier. Just slide the new, the new gearing on top, mind your fingers. Once that's in on top, then you wanna get your C-clip. And here's a little mixed mowers top trick for you. Get your C-clip and just offer it, offer it where it needs to be. Okay. Now, with a pair of long nose or stubby nose pliers, just bridge the top of the C-clip, like so. Hold, put your fingers either side, push down, and it goes on. If you try and whack it on the screwdriver, trust me, it will shoot off, okay? Now it's in place, just recheck that your gearing is correct and we're happy with it. And then you can start to look at the white gear uh, on the cylinder. Moving on to the, the cylinder gear, the main gear, you can do this with the cartridge in or the cartridge out. It's sort of irrelevant really, okay? But this gear will also break from time to time because they're plastic, they do, they do wear, and also they are sacrificial, they are protecting your cylinder. So rather than hitting something really hard and breaking the cylinder, this gear may even split or the teeth will, will, will wear off and uh, you, that'll, that'll stop your cylinder. So they are sacrificial and you can get them very, very reasonable price indeed, okay? Now to remove this one is a bit, is a bit different. All we have to do is lock off the actual cylinder on the front. And I recommend that using a rubber handled hammer and just slide that into the cylinder, just like so. Just make sure it's got a good grip of it, okay? And we're gonna hold that hammer nice and still, okay? We're then gonna get a, a reasonable side um, socket and ratchet, and this needs to be a 24 millimeter, okay? Now this is left-handed thread, which means you have to do it up to loosen it, okay? So put that on. Put it on there and we're going to tighten it up which will be loosening and then hold that hammer still and then just gently crack that off and then that gear as we're tightening that gear will then come off all the way on just like so okay now what i have seen on some people's machines not on this one but on some of the gears they put that on that way around you don't want to be doing that okay we want to put it on that way around so the nut is visible don't put them on that way around okay once you've um got your new once your new gears are turned up from Allen or wherever you're getting them from simply put your, your new white gear on and loosen it which should be to tighten it so we're going to go anti-clockwise once it catches it a go anti-clockwise until it's well snug. Once it's well snug, put, with your hammer still inside the cylinder so your cylinder can't move, we're then gonna loosen this gearing, which will be tightening, because left hand thread. Snug it down, it doesn't have to be super duper tight, guys. You don't wanna bend your cylinder, so you don't have to go mad, okay? Once, those, um, once that gear's now been replaced, we can then put on our green gear 
and we're going to check for meshing, which is about three quarters of where it wants to be, so that's a good place to put it. We have adjusted it already. I'm then going to grab my C-clip, which I haven't lost. I'm going to put that on, and again, I'm going to use a mixed mowers trick, a pair of stobby nose pliers over top of the entire um, shaft and the C-clip. Just take, get it on nice and, nice and neatly first. Once you've got hold of it, just hold your thumb near it and just click it down. That goes on. Then we can attach our cylinder intermediate gear. And then we can attach our, um, our 10 mil bolt with the three washers, penny washer, normal washer, split washer. That'll go on. We're gonna grab a 10 mil spanner. We're gonna grab a cylinder just with our hand. You can wear gloves if need be. But this isn't gonna be tight, it's just gonna hold it down just like so. The reason you want to do that is just because you'll hold the cylinder because this will all move, but we're just holding it. So that's all good. We like that. Now we're going to put our, our belt back on. So belt goes over the cylinder, over this top one, pull this tensioner out, and then just rotate that in a clockwise position, and that is your, um, your cylinder belt put back on. We then relocate and put the rest of the mower back together. Okay, now that we've fully adjusted the gears, we've replaced the gears if they've broken, failed, or just for maintenance. We put the cylinder belt back on. Everything is working as it should do. We're happy. We can now put the side cover back on. Once that goes on, a bit of a snug fit, a little gentle tap. Tap, tap, tap. And then there's four five mil bolts, which are captive, so they haven't gone anywhere. We're gonna nick them up. And that would be pretty much your, your uh, maintenance done on how to replace the gears and, uh, and rem remove the belts and uh, tension the gears, all that sort of good stuff. It's all, all the information is there for you in one video. And I think the video will take no more than about 15 minutes. So that's what it took me. I only edited the video just, just so I can just change the angle of a camera so that you guys and girls can just get a better view. Otherwise you're going to be five feet away and not be able to see anything at all. Right, so that's your Alec Cambridge on how to replace your gears have, if, if they fail or just due to general maintenance. As I say, they are a sacrificial gear. They're designed to protect your machine. Um, so now that's all been put back together, all we now have to do is open the door, grab your, your, 40, um, your 40 volt battery, slide that in until it goes click, click, and then into your pocket you're gonna go and you're gonna grab that little tiny safety key and you're gonna put that into there. Close your door. Make sure there's no tools or anything in the way. And just operate your cylinder, make sure all the gears all work. And the drive. Lovely. And that there is how to um, replace your gears should they fail or how to slip, slip your belt, all that sort of stuff. Or you just want to do some routine maintenance. You've had the machine for about a year. You just want to change your gears yourself. You can do it yourself, especially if it's outside of warranty. If it's inside of warranty, you've got a failure, then check out Alex's website and uh, make sure that your, your, your failure to the machine is covered by the warranty. So I don't recommend doing your own work if it's, if it's inside warranty. But uh, outside warranty, you may have to do it yourself and just to save the money. So also, Alec may just want to ask you some questions on, on what has failed. And this video, this video will give you information on what you're looking at to identify the parts and bits and pieces. So I hope it helps. If you like this video, Mixed Mother and Merman on how to change the gears and how to do the belts and adjust your gears, then give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I have a playlist on this Alec Cambridge on other videos on how to change the belts, do's and don'ts, how to use, what to do and what not to do. There's about five, six videos here um, on the Alec Cambridge, so make sure you check out Mixed Mother. Subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up and leave me a nice little comment if possible. Thank you very much for watching Mixed Mother, man. I'd like to see you guys again next time very, very soon. But don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.